welcome to Taste of Change. I am Dr. Irina Kols. Today we we'll record very cozy fall meal casserole. We'll use ground meat, rice, cauliflower, little bit of spinach, eggs, cheese, spices, yes, and onions. Uh, we'll start with uh, preparing meat and while it is cooking, we'll make the second part and it is actually very, very fast meal. Uh, you see casseroles, I, I, I like it actually casseroles and uh, invent them all the time. If you have something in the refrigerator that is vegetables or something, you always can uh, use it in casseroles. And the onions and peppers, whatever, it always goes inside. When I was a kid, in our childhood, we remember mostly cheese casserole. And it wasn't delicious. And they, <laughs> the teachers gave it to us in kindergarten and this, but we didn't like it. So when I heard the word casserole, I was thinking, oh, it is this, not yummy thing. But it is not. This is different. This is totally different. Well, one part of onion is ready. Heat the skillet, high heat, add olive oil. Not much because we have meat later to add. So we don't, we don't need, uh, need it too oily. And I use just half of onion because for this amount it's enough. I brought one, but don't, I'm not going to use everything. And very good goes combination of white onion and green onions. So I, I add it. Green onions add lots of flavor everywhere actually. So let's add them also. Here, onion starts to, I want to start with very high maximum heat. We have it on 10. Green onion. Oh, it looks nicer. It smells nicer. And it is adding to the taste. We'll use combination of, this is about the pound. So it is beef and uh, bison meat. Bison meat is ground, ground meat. Bison meat is darker. So I mix them together and uh, we'll use a combination. I'm a big fan of combination of meats, cheese, because it is, it is it's proven by experience that the taste is always better when, it, when you mix suitable ingredients and we want food taste yummy. At this point when onions brownish a little bit and you see that they're actually cooked, it's time to add meat. We'll add it by small pieces because cooking the meat on the it is always a little bit challenging because you need to mix it, mix it all the time. Mixing is very convenient with big fork. You see? <laughs> doesn't want to fall apart. What spices? Salt. I like combination of uh, chili powder and turmeric. So we'll add, this is half cup of, let's add half cup of each. So it will be very flavorful. Oh, it smells so good right away. And uh, turmeric. Oh, what I said, half of cup, half of teaspoon, of course. <laughs> 
half of teaspoon. Okay. Oh, these spices are amazing. It gives so much flavor to our meat. You see, it was very quickly. At this point, I'll say it is done. It is done. Maybe it's a little bit rare, but we'll put it in the oven later. So it will be, it will be cooked also. When I was a kid, my mom made this casserole with meat and potato, mashed potato on top. And it was definitely delicious and nice, but we avoid potato because it is very high glycemic vegetables, high uh, sugar content, and it increases your blood sugar dramatically. Very good substitute is cauliflower, really good. And the taste is better because it is healthier. You know that you eat healthy substitute and uh, cauliflower is really, really, if you still don't use it as a substitute, I highly recommend do it. It is, it, it works perfectly. To make it uh, smooth, I'll add, uh, this is, this is pound of rice cauliflower. It, it, it is called, it is frozen in uh, supermarkets. I always have a couple in uh, freezer because it is very, very convenient and quick. You can make it. Okay. Two eggs, cheese. I grated it by myself. I always say grated by myself. And you see, it's already stuck together a little bit. That's why manufacturers are adding starch. We don't want it. So I leave a little bit to add on the top. Cheese, eggs, rice cauliflower. And this is it. We don't need anything else. Just mix all together well. You see, it is actually very, very fast. Mix it all. And you know what I like to do? I like to have different um, layers. So that's why I brought spinach. Uh, it was frozen in this like, little, little shapes and uh, this is three little shapes so for the bottom layer we'll use with spinach or oh, the oven is ready with spinach and top without spinach so i'll keep for the top for the top and here we'll add this nutritional vegetable uh, green Cauliflower is actually full of vitamins. Like many, many vitamins are uh, in cauliflower, and uh, in my opinion, it it tastes better than broccoli. I didn't say anything. Uh, you'll find uh, many recipes with cauliflower, like it, and uh, you many recipes on waydestiny.com. Of cauliflower patties and other casserole and uh, many others. So take a look. What we need is just to put it in layers. So the first one will be greenish with uh, spinach. Well, greenish with spinach. Now, meat is going in as a second with juice. Don't skip juice, it is so moist and nice. Ooh. Decent amount of meat. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't stand the spices. This smells so, so good, yummy. This is it, we have this. And the last, rice flour with eggs and cheese without spinach. So the top layer will be just white, yellowish. Mm -hmm. 
press a little bit, it should be press so we won't cause your roll as a piece, slice, because later you're going to slice it so it shouldn't fall apart at all. So you press it a little bit and to make it fancy, we'll add cheese on top. We'll have cheese on top, it's always good, always good cheese on top. I recommend sprinkle with a little bit thyme, leaves very good. Thyme is very good addition when you do something with cheese on top, like mushroom, you can find recipes of the mushrooms, and a little bit of thyme leaves. You see? It took just maybe 10, 15 minutes. Now this casserole is going, future casserole is going to the oven, preheated to 375 for 30 minutes, 25 maybe, 30 minutes. In just 30 minutes, we've got amazing, it smells absolutely wonderful, casserole, cauliflower, rice, spinach, meat, cheese, eggs, no bad carbs, no sugar actually, I cannot call it low glycemic because it's meat and cheese and eggs, they do not have uh, any glycemic index at all. So cauliflower is, goes, cauliflower goes wonderful with them. You can, if you bake uh, it in a nice dish, you can serve it right bake on the table without transferring it to another dish. Enjoy your meal. Find more cauliflower recipes on weightdestiny.com and uh, videos there and at actontv.org. See you later.